Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to AWS reInvent 2018. We're proud to present our next speaker, Yari Fishman, with Checkpoint. Please give him a warm welcome. Can you hear me? Yeah. So thank you for the introduction. Hi, everyone. As mentioned, my name is Yari Fishman. I'm heading product management for cloud security in Checkpoint. And today I'm going to talk about architecting DevSecOps, advanced cybersecurity for applications on AWS. Today, when we look at the enterprise new IT demands, basically IT is, in, is required to enable business agility, to streamline processes, to enhance competitive advantages and reduce IT cost, which basically means that IT is taking a more strategic role in the overall business success, and as such, is required also to meet the various business demands. So the need to run um, various processes in a more, well, in a better way, with a faster time to market, and with better user experience, is driving enterprises to adopt the cloud as part of their um, IT strategy. But those new infrastructure, which is presented as part of the cloud, is also providing new challenges for IT, because the, the network boundaries are not the same anymore. For example, if we look up uh, as an example for a potential challenge, is the cloud shared responsibility model. On the one side, you have the cloud platform provider, which is responsible for security of the cloud. What that means is responsible for the compute, is responsible for the storage, for the database, for networking, for the edge locations, and so on. Now, the other side, you've got the customers, which are responsible for their own security, so the security within the cloud. What that means, it means that they're responsible for their own data, their platforms, their firewalls, their operating systems, and so on. And this chair responsibility model is not always clear to all customers. At times, they don't really know where their responsibility begins and where it ends. And cyber attacks can easily go into the cloud platform and spread laterally if no security is put into place. So things like account hijacking can, can happen as well. And the fact that you don't have any consistent tools for visibility, management, and reporting within the cloud also doesn't help, help the customer understand what's happening within his platform. If we look at traditional security, it's definitely not designed for the new Agile cloud. It has static controls, it's usually manually intensive, and specifically there are some silo disciplines within the organization. One are the DevOps. DevOps wants to be as agile as the cloud, and they see security as a burden, something that doesn't allow them to move as fast as they want. On the other side, you have the IT security guys. So they want to enforce security as much as they can on that new environment, but not necessarily as familiar as the DevOps in terms of how the cloud looks like and how the infrastructure really works. So it's time for a new security model for cloud workloads. So what does it mean, a new security model? One, you need to have comprehensive protections. You want to prevent attacks against cloud applications, data, and various workloads. Two, you want to have ease of operation. Now, ease of operation is not just for the IT security folks, but also for the DevOps. So we want to have one-click deployments. We want to have auto-provisioning templates so everything will be streamlined. Three, you want to, be, you want to have agility. You want to, uh, the, the solution to adjust to the nature of the cloud, the dynamic nature of the cloud. And for that matter, whenever your cloud scales up, you want your security to scale up with it. And if it scales down, you want it to do the same. You don't want to get involved in what's happening in the cloud. You definitely don't want to do it manually. So this needs to be happen automatically. 
And last but not least, centralized management. So you want to have a single plane in glass experience to really understand what's happening within your glass. What, sorry, what's happening within your cloud, especially if you have hybrid environments or you have multi-cloud environments and you want to understand what's happening across those environments. So Checkpoint, we're introducing the Cloud Guard for Amazon Web Services, which is providing dynamic and agile security for your Amazon Cloud environments. So if we're looking at the Cloud Guard product portfolio, it's a comprehensive product portfolio that protects private clouds, public clouds, and also software as a service applications. And for example, if we look at the private cloud, so things like NSXV and NSX, recently also NSXT, Cisco ACI, Nuga Networks, OpenStack, all of those are protected as part of the private cloud offering. We also have the public cloud offering, which is targeted at obviously Amazon Web Services, but not just. We're working with all the public cloud vendors, whether that be Azure, or that be Google Cloud Platform, the Ali Cloud, and Oracle Cloud as well. And from a SaaS perspective, the solution, which is kind of a Casby on steroids, is protecting um, actual applications like Office 365, Salesforce, and all, and more. We have a new recent adding to the family, which is the CloudGuard Dome 9. Dome 9 is a company Checkpoint acquired about a month ago, which is now also allowing us to provide security posture and compliance as part of our overall CloudGuard security solution. I'll relate to that later on in the presentation. What I'm going to focus up next is mostly about the CloudGuard YAS and just a little bit relating to the Dome 9. We have a separate session for Dome 9 uh, happening tomorrow. So let's look at the CloudGuard Automated Security Blueprints. It's basically comprised of two major instances. One is the northbound hub, and the second is the southbound hub. The northbound hub is responsible for the security of all incoming traffic into the Amazon's, Amazon Web Services VPCs, whereas the southbound hub is responsible to secure all the lateral traffic between VPCs, also secure traffic which is going from within the cloud to your organization to your corporate network and from the corporate network into your cloud. And it's also responsible for securing any outgoing traffic either to the internet or to other clouds. And this way, you're creating a kind of a perimeter that protects all your cloud environment through protecting the various VPCs So what we're basically doing is extending the native Amazon Web Services security. If Amazon is responsible for the access and infrastructure security, CloudGuard yes, providing on top of that next generation threat prevention and threat extraction. So it's firewalling, VPNing, application and data security, advanced threat prevention and extraction, and forensics analysis. And on top of that, with Dome 9, also security posture, and compliance security. So let's drill down a little bit into the specific components as part of CloudGuard YAS. One, we have the CloudGuard Gateway, which is a comprehensive next generation threat prevention and next generation threat extraction capability, providing both north, south, and east, west security for all workloads running on your cloud. It is auto scaling, it's based on elastic load balancing. And it's DevSecOps ready based on cloud formation and various templates that um, the companies can use. The other side is the CloudGuard controller. Now, the controller is basically our means to connect into the cloud native services. And by that, we're able to provide automated security with unified management and context aware policies based on logs, leveraging. Um, Amazon defined objects. It basically means we can consume all the relevant objects which are part of the Amazon environment based on their tags. And from that moment on, for example, if there is a new VPC added to the environment, it automatically secured as part of the blueprint I just showed. And if there is a 
growth in the scale of your cloud. We automatically know that because we're connected to the load balancers and we know we need to scale as well in terms of the amount of security we need to provide across the environment. So just to drill into it, the cloud-aware security, so it's dynamic security based on the Amazon environment, so it's VPC, subnets, availability zones, all of those are mapped through our Cloud Guard controller, and changes to any object is updated in real time in our system as well. So you get improved visibility and forensics, and for example, of a, this kind of an integration, we did an integration with the guard duty. So any malicious activity detected by guard duty is automatically reported into Cloud Guard, yes, and we're, being, we're able to protect your cloud through that. I'll give an example, an elaborated uh, example later on in the presentation. I think, um, okay. Another example um, is auto scaling with high availability. So based on the reference architecture I showed, we're providing auto scaling across availability, availability zone with elastic load balancing, working with cloud formation templates to support automated deployments and also supporting quick starts for automated deployments. And I'll drill down into those advanced features. So one is the quick start. So the quick start we're now offering is for auto scaling. So it's easy deployment of the Cloud God as part of the Amazon platform. It's automatically scaled. It's dynamically secured. And it's based on the cloud formation. If we look at the guard duty, so one, we predefine security rules in checkpoints, monitors, the workloads, and specific guard duty events. And when guard duty actually detects a suspicious, suspicious activity, uh, a specific Amazon Lambda function is tagging those suspicious VMs um, in the system. And once we can read those tags, so Cloud Guard applies and enforces the rules which were preset as security policies on all those tagged VMs. Another example of an integration um, is the Transit VPC. So the, the integration with Transit VPC basically allows us to do the east-west, for example, the east-west uh, security, or the prevent the lateral movement across VPCs. And it's simplified network management and native orchestration and scaling both of your own Amazon solution, but also of the Cloud God YAS implementation as part of your cloud. I wanted to talk about the latest integrations, but uh, unfortunately, they haven't been launched yet. So in the next couple of days, uh, Amazon Web Services are going to declare new integrations, new services, security services that we are already integrated in. So I'll encourage you to go to our booths later on this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, to learn more about those integrations. They haven't been officially declared yet. And last but not least is the new Dome 9 product offering added to our product portfolio. So it's a SaaS platform versus the YAS platform I talked about up till now. For security and compliance automation, which provides basically one visibility into your cloud assets. You can really see all your cloud assets, which is connected as part of the cloud very easily. And you can see your network configuration security posture. It's uh, providing consistent security across multiple accounts and regions, and providing baselining and continuous enforcement of security best practices and compliance, whether those are predefined compliances like HIPAA or NIST or anything else, or ones that you define by yourself. And prevention, which is the coolest feature of security configuration drift. So if, for example, you define your security posture, and for some reason, either because of malware or a malice user, or even potentially a user that did it unintentionally, something has changed as part of your security posture, Dome 9 provides the capability to roll back into the existing security posture, and by that, preventing attacks on your environment. So to summarize, 
Um, Checkpoint Cloud Guard is providing dynamic and agile security. It's um, advanced protection, again, the most sophisticated attacks that are known today. It's security that adapts to applications and infrastructure changes. It provides unified visibility and control to all your cloud environments. It's architecture that supports also your DevOps and not your IT just your IT security. And with the addition of Dome 9, it's also providing security posture and compliance to that same environment. So to learn more, feel free to visit our other boots. We have two boots um, in this show. One is based from Checkpoint Boot, and the other is focused on Dome 9 offering. So feel free to visit us. And if you have any questions, um, I'll be glad to answer. Any questions at this time? Um, you said Cloud9 will... Dome 9? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Dome 9 will be able to cater for specific regulations. Yes. So you can um, sort of... Um, you can actually... Um, code it in or make a rule in terms of what the regulation entails for the region? So our pre, there are predefined compliance rules based on actual compliance, and there are rules you can create yourself that adhere to your own IT needs that you can create um, in a free language. Yeah, that, There is a demo you can see in the boot of how it actually works. Any other questions? No? Well, thank you so thank you. much. Thank you very much, and enjoy the show.